As you can see from the text on screen, this is now former Starbucks employee Will Westlake, who will explain why he was fired from his barista position. Today I was fired from Starbucks. Why? For wearing a suicide awareness pin on my apron. Is it normal for people to wear to get fired for wearing pins? Uh, no, not in my experience. I, you know, for a long time worked at Starbucks and any pins that we wanted to wear were accepted. Um, but we had a partner die at our store, um, died by suicide, and um, we got these pins to kind of remember her. And very early on, the company said that they weren't going to be allowed, that they weren't becoming of the brand of Starbucks. And I refused to take it off. And today they fired me. All right, so let's get some things straight here. Westlake was fired from his job for wearing a pro mental health and anti unaliving yourself pin to raise awareness after their own co worker passed away from it recently. There's got to be more to the story, right? And there it is, especially with how Starbucks has been acting lately. According to multiple outlets, including Bloomberg and Desert News, Westlake said he and others at his store began wearing the pins after a co-worker died earlier that year. After management told them the pins violated the dress code, most removed them to avoid getting in trouble. Westlake continued to wear his pin and was sent home dozens of times and issued him a final written warning for refusing to remove it. In a termination notice issued Tuesday, Starbucks said it fired Westlake due to refusal to abide by the dress code policy, as well as attendance issues. Though a Starbucks spokesperson said the company allegedly follows U.S. labor laws, Westlake's pin doesn't reference a union. Instead, it shows interlocked fingers and says, you are not alone, along with the website of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. In an interview last month, Westlake said he wears the button to honor his deceased co-worker and also to protest the company's selective enforcement of its dress code and refusal to let employees freely wear the pin. He also was looking to call attention to management actions that he says are harmful to workers' mental health. There are a lot of partners who are dealing with mental health crises, Westlake said, using Starbucks' term for employees. We did lose someone at my store to this issue, and the fact that somehow it's going to be suppressed I don't think is helpful to anyone's mental health in our store. An argument could be made that this button is symbolic of solidarity with folks that are burdened with these kinds of psychological pressures as a result of a hostile work environment that the union is trying to fight against, said former union attorney Mark Pierce. Jennifer Abruzzo is seeking an order that would annul that result and force Starbucks to recognize the group. She's arguing the union demonstrated majority support and that the company violated the law egregiously enough to make a fair election impossible. Westlake has been a prominent face of the union campaign at his store and nationwide, discussing it with media outlets as well as helping workers organize in several states. The union has prevailed in elections at more than 240 of Starbucks' roughly 9,000 corporate-run U.S. stores over the past year.